Welcome to the Critic Uculus. I'm the Monk, and today we are going to be doing another build guide. This is an advanced build guide. This is for late game. Uh, I'm currently making this, I think, around level 24, level 25, something like that. Anyway, we're going to be taking Raider Hater as our background. This gives us an extra 10% buff against humans uh, in the game. Now, there's a lot of human NPCs. They they are probably the most uh, prominent uh, uh, people that we actually fight against. Therefore, that buff's really, really worthwhile. A coordination we have taken to the max. This will enable us to have at least, well, it will enable us to have two attacks and probably move as well. Um, after that, we have got a little bit of luck. That's actually for the penetration slightly, as well as the extra critical chance. And then we have got awareness as well for the extra damage uh, on our range and our hit chance. Strength, we have taken the eight as we really want to be able to have that power armor. This could even be one for the nuclear armor as well. Uh, but that's whether you get that or not. Uh, speed, we have left the same. And intelligence we have taken to the max because basically we want that extra critical chance and the 25% you get for the end is really, really nice. And of course you get the 1.1 on critical damage too. Charisma we have left the same. Uh, if you want to take one off charisma and put that on speed, you're more than welcome. Or if you want to strip luck again and put that on speed too so you can actually get around the battlefield, that could work well too. And that's pretty itch pretty much it for the attributes so when it comes to the skills this is a very very cheap build first thing you want to work on is your automatic weapons take that up to 10 basically it is the perk trigger happy that we are after here uh, it's a really good perk and it works really great with the quirk we're going to be using too we've got one on animal whisperer for the uh, extra points we get from having a decent pet with us and then one on first aid we've got three on mechanics for the structural weakness and then we have got six on survival for the uh, big game hunter as this is an end game build or a very late game build we are looking for those extra damage buffs you know we're going to be coming up against a lot of enemies especially in the final uh, final late bits of the game where we come up against a lot of robots a lot of animals and of course people so we want buffs in everything uh, quirk wise we have teamed this up with serial killer now it could be we could use other stuff here There's, it's definitely not the only one uh, to use but when it comes to assault rifles i just think it works so well the reason it works so well is the last perk you get so let's look at the actual setup itself um as you can see we have gone for power armor we've got the whole gear on us and we have also got two different assault rifles. I would specialize in, in assault rifles and only use assault rifles. Um, there are different types of weapons in this game that give you different buffs against certain things. Like this one, for instance, gives you buffs against uh, the vehicles and simps and robots and stuff like that as well. And then I've just got a regular one. Now, you can find other assault rifles that give you buffs against animals and humans as well but I've gone for a regular one here. I've also got a smoke grenade because I think they're underutilized in this game. I think, especially if a character's low on health, these can really save your life. And as you can see, we have gone for full power armor. I think it's, what well, power armor is, is probably the best armor in a game. I mean, it is numerous. Your entire squad could have power armor. It's not rare. Um, and it's an all round good buff, but you do need strength fate, which is why we took strength fate. So over to the perks, um, I think what we're going to do, we're going to do healthy and we're going to do armoured. I think these two perks here are really useful. Admittedly, the two armour isn't necessarily needed. If there's something you want to breach out into, then maybe save your point. Like I said, this is a really, really cheap build. So if you need someone for lock picking or you need someone with a speech dialogue, something like that, or even if you wanted to tank mechanics up to the max, you could do that on this character. You're going to have the perk points left and you, you've got the skill points left. So to the perks that actually matter on this one, the assault rifle perks. Now, I've already said it before, but the last perk is the best perk. And um, basically, if you kill someone, you get an extra 3 AP. Now, so that doubles up for our character because we got serial killer. So we're going to be on the 6 AP 
if we actually kill someone. And of course, that means we've got at least one more attack. If we're lucky, that might have doubled up and we have two attacks. So it's really, really handy to have. I really, really like it. And it just works really great with a build. The other one that goes well with this uh, build is Double Tap. So Double Tap, if you attack an enemy twice in a row with an assault rifle, the second is always a critical hit. Critical hits are so important in Wasteland. You get some serious damage for them. And honestly, the buffs you get on assault rifles aren't exactly amazing. You don't really get, you know, the top end damage layout from the assault rifles. Unless you go down the weird science route and spec your plasma out. So I definitely think it's worth getting. Uh, the other two perks that I get is the gopher hunter and the puncturing shot. Both of them are okay. The Gopher Hunter uh, enemies have a 25% less benefit from cover when attacking them. So I think this can really, really help. The Puncture here is something that I actually don't really use. And so you can save your perk point if you wanted to instead of getting this anyway. Again, like I said, this build can be specced a few different ways. So you don't necessarily need that one. First aid is a really good one. The emergency response when an ally is downed, you gain a one point in combat speed for two turns. And the mechanic for the structural weakness is really good because you get a 20%, that's quite massive, a 20% bonus against robots and vehicles. And then after that, big game hunter for another 20% against animals and mutants. Um, I really like this. I really like the buffs. Like I said, late game, what you want to be doing is stacking all that damage layout. And uh, this is where it's from. Uh, the mechanic and the survival are really, really helpful for that. The last perk I would possibly think about taking is weathered for the 10% critical resistance. But that is entirely up to you and what you want to do with this build. I've been the monk and we've been a critically coolest. If you've liked this video, maybe think about liking it. If you're not subscribed, maybe think about doing that too. And if you would do something different or if you like this build, maybe let me know in the comments because I love hearing back from you guys. So good luck in that wasteland, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video soon.